Hey everybody, it's Paula here from the Exile Club and welcome to today's video. What we're going to look at in today's video is some Power BI and we're going to look at why and how you should mark a date table as a date table. But before we get stuck into the video, I hope that you will subscribe to my channel and hit that notifications button so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you will also give this video a big thumbs up and if you find it useful, please do share it across your social profiles. So let's hop over to Power BI now and have a look at day tables and the how and the why you should mark your day table as a day table. In this video, we're gonna talk about the how and the why of marking your day table as a day table. I have three tables of data loaded into Power BI. We have a sales table, and this is our sales table here. This has a date key, and you'll notice it's not a date, it's a date key, a product and an amount. We have a products table, which has a product key and the product. And then we have a date table. Now the date table has a date key, it then has the date, the year, the month, sort by, and the month name. Now notice that in our relationships, our relationship is set up from our date key column, not our actual date column. So it's a date key column. Now this type of structure is very common in other types of databases that it wouldn't be built around kind of an Excel model or a Power BI model. So if you're connecting to an external data source, you may find that the date table has a date key and that this date key is used in the relationships against other tables. Now, in effect, this doesn't really cause any problems if you know what to do, but if you don't know what to do, it can cause problems. And I'm gonna show you now the problems that it can cause and how you can overcome them. So let's go into our model for the moment and let's create two measures. We're going to create a total sales measure. So we will call our first measure total sales and it's basically just going to be a sum of our amount from our sales table. And then we are going to create a second measure but this time it's going to be a time intelligence measure. And the time intelligence measure that we're going to use is same period last year. So we'll name this same period last year. And we will start with calculate. So anybody that knows how to use same period last year knows that you need to use calculate. We can then take our total sales measure as our measure. And then our filter is going to be our same period last year. And we are going to take our date column from our date table to create this measure and we can then just hit enter. So we've calculated two measures. We've created a total sales and we've created a same period last year. Now I mentioned before that a date table is not only there as a standard dimensions table that would be used to slice, dice, filter and group data, but it's also there to initiate time intelligence functions. Let's go into a quick visualization and we will set up a matrix. And in our matrix, we will put in our product and we're going to put in our total sales and we are going to put in our same period last year. Now on their own, them values don't really mean much because we've got a number of year sales grouped together in there. So what I'm also going to do is I am going to add a filter and the filter is going to be for the year. Now I'm just gonna change how this is presented slightly. Now, if we click into 2022, we can see we have no sales for the same period last year. But if we click into 2021, we see we do actually have sales in 2021. So in 2022, we should also have sales for our same period last year. So why is this not working? We have used our date field in our same period last year calculation. So DAX should know that we are using a time intelligent function and it should be able to calculate this, right? 
well not with how this data has been set up because we had a date key and if we go back into our relationship and i'll actually click right into the relationship the key is not a date see we have date key and this is attached to the date key the key is not actually a date so power bi doesn't know what to carry out what calculations to carry out how to carry out um time intelligent calculations because it doesn't know what table is actually a date table now if our date table was identified as a date table in our fields we would have something over here to show us that it is actually a date table so how can we overcome this well the easiest way to overcome this is to mark the table as a date table so if we select the date table and from our modeling ribbon mark as date table and then select mark as date table then it's asking us to select the unique column of dates. So this is all your individual dates where the dates are all only listed once. Now remember, in a date table, all the dates can only be listed once and they must span the entire range of all the dates within your model without skipping a date at all. Now this is validated successfully when I selected the date column. So I'm just gonna say, okay. And let's hop back over to our vis visualization sheet and we'll see now we have a same period last year value in for our sales per product. So let's just do a quick sanity check on the values. So for apples, the same per period last year is 54,507. Let's have a look at 2021 and we have 54,507. So now we can see that the time intelligence functions are working. Now, what you'll also notice over in our fields list is that we have this little symbol here that lets us know that it has now identified this as a date column in an actual date table. So it is important in certain model types that you make sure that you have marked a date table as a date table especially if you have day tables that you're importing from a different source because these could use keys for relationships rather than actual dates.